Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at Roland Cloud and everything it has to offer. So if we look at the first page of the Roland Cloud, we can see that it, it's, a, like it says here, an evolving cloud-based suite of software synthesizers, drum machines, and sampled instruments. Now, what this means is there's a bunch of software synths and drum machines that you can download and use within your computer, but we also have many software synthesizers that you can actually download and use inside your hardware synth uh, that we make at Roland. And those are called plugouts. So what that is, that's the ability to take that software synthesizer that we're normally confined to a computer and we can actually plug out of the computer in to our hardware synthesizer such as the System 8. So let's take a look now at what this website has to offer. So as you can see, the first thing it's gonna prompt you to do is download the Roland Cloud Manager. We're gonna be taking a, a closer look at this so you can see exactly what it is and how to use it. But it is definitely something you're gonna to need to download all these different softwares in your computer and also for the plugouts in general. So if we look at here, we have some news. Uh, this, is, this is really exciting, some more SRX expansions in here, the SRX Studio, and we'll look at that. Also, we have a bunch of winners, patches and patterns. We see different stories from different artists right in here. So this is wonderful as well. And we look down here, we have Join the Team Rolling Cloud. Over $4,000 worth of software for only $19.95 a month. Once you see what Roland Cloud has to offer, you're going to see this is an incredible deal. And we're going to explore this. So I'm not going to try and influence you and push it on you, but I definitely want you to see what it has to offer because there's a lot of great things with inside uh, Roland Cloud. First off, you see unlimited access to all instruments in the Roland uh, Cloud library, frequent new instrument releases, uh, and uh, more continual product updates and fixes. So let's take a look at the products here. So right way we see we have the SRX Studio that is the latest in the software synthesizer section but if we take a look at view all instruments here you can see we have the different sections within this catalog okay so what I want to do now is go briefly within each one of these so you can see what's available so right here the essentials let's go ahead and click on this and within the essentials, of course, we have the Rolling Cloud Manager. And I'll go ahead and use this time. Let's go inside the Rolling Cloud Manager and see what this is. So if we look inside, we see, uh, here's what it is, Instrument Library Management. That's all that this is for. And so this is going to allow you to go ahead and download all the different instruments and manage them in here. So this is something that's real good. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to open up mine so you can see. Uh, let's open it up now, little icon right here. And here we go, open the app. Okay, so now that it's opened up, you can see you, uh, you, you get a little representation of the website with the news, the essentials, uh, instruments. And so you can go through the news, see if there's anything that's news come out or any updates that have come out. And you, as, as you can see, there's some right here. And you get some new, really nice screenshots of some of the software synthesizers that are available. You have some SoundCloud links. All right, great. Let's go to the Essentials. And as you can see, it's telling you about Roland Cloud Manager, which I've already installed. And so that's great. About Concerto, uh, installed that one as well. But here's where we're going to go to the instruments. This is where we want to go right here. And this shows you the instruments that are available and if you have installed them or not. So I might come into here and you see I've installed most of these in the Era series, uh, Anthology series. You can see I haven't installed these yet. So you can actually go into here and decide if you want to install them. Now if you get that membership, that unlimited membership, you can just have at it and install it's everything. It's, it's really, really great. Uh, we'll take a look at the drum series. You see the acoustic. Everyone's favorite TR-808, which, by the way, this looks and sounds great when you have it in your computer and you use it in your doll. 909, let's go to the Flavor Series, and there's a bunch of great sounds in here uh, that you can install and use in your productions. So a lot of good stuff. And, of course, the Legendary Series. If we look further in the Legendary Series, there, this is worth the price of admission alone right here. The D50, when we go and do, we're going to do a further video and one that's going to be strictly D50, how incredible it is. Okay, so uh, just wait for that. And as you can see, a lot of great things right in here. The Jupiter 8, Ju you know, uh, JV1080. This was a huge, huge sound module back in the day. So as you can see, a lot of great things in here. All right. So I just want to encourage you, 
go through this and let me get out of the cloud manager and go back to the website real quick so go back to the website and let's let's find these here so that way you can just kind of check it out without even having to get the, the cloud manager so I'm gonna go to catalog and everything I was watching before it is right here and here we go there's the error line right here and you can see there's a system one system eight and if you haven't played the system eight hardware or software base you, you're really missing out it is an incredible synthesizer and once and once again a lot of the software synthesizers offered in with, within rolling cloud work as plugouts inside the system eight so that's something that's great uh, once again I'm gonna go back to my legendary in here and in my opinion this section is worth the, the the membership all by itself. So you see all the SRX keyboards, JX3P, which was my that's my first one that I ever started off with Roland, uh, TR808, you know, TB303. Now, one thing to mention about the 808 and the 303, these are not sampled. These are using our analog circuit behavior, our ACB uh, modeling. So what that means is they were actually modeled the circuitry after the original TR and, and, the, and the TB. So, uh, you know, why settle for a copy when you can have the authentic thing right here? So definitely worth it right there. Uh, if we look a little bit further, the D50. We're going to do, we're going to dig a lot deeper into the D50 and you're going to learn that the D50 was the basis for modern synthesizers for about 30 years. Okay. I know for sure at Roland, but I know it had influence in other manufacturers as well. But this one, the D50 is definitely one to dig into when we get into the editing section of it. Of course, Juno 106, always a classic. Jupiter 8, hello, that's like one of the granddaddies of Synthesizer, definitely one uh, you have to check out. If you wanted to go and find a Jupiter 8 on its own, it could be anywhere from six dollars to $9,000 on the street depending on condition. So having that uh, rolling cloud available to you is incredible. And oh, once again, this is analog circuit behavior. So we modeled the circuitry of the original Jupiter 8. So that's something that's great. Uh, JV1080, one, probably one of our most famous uh, sound modules ever. It's incredible. Uh, you're going to love this one. A lot of great tracks for many, many years were, use, were using the JV1080. Look a little bit further. Of course, SH101, SH2, World System. There's just so much you can do within the rolling cloud. Uh, let's take a look at what else we have. Uh, patches and patterns. Once you are signed up, there's going to be different patches and patterns for the different synthesizers that you download. So this is something great to check out. And we're going to explore this a little bit further in future videos. We're going to explore how to install them inside these software synths and then also how to use them within there. So that's great. And, of course, drums. We always love drums. And I think I already kind of covered this. We have the drum studio, the acoustic drums, the TR-99, the 808, and I'm sure more are to follow. So, once again, this is just a quick look at the rolling cloud that it's offered uh, I encourage you to check it out for yourself and and really have an open mind but once you dig into it and and you really start checking out you are gonna love it it's it has totally been a game changer for me in future videos we're gonna explore each of the software synthesizers offered within rolling cloud also how to use them within a digital audio workstation such as Ableton or Logic. Uh, and then also we're going to show how to use them and stack them, splits and layers, within MainStage. All right? So stay tuned. I hope this helps you guys out. You take care, and I'll talk to you later.